Good morning. It's okay to talk back. You're not watching television. It's all right. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm an English instructor here at East Central College. My name is Josh Stroop. I teach many things, one of those things being uh, creative writing. Uh, and one thing that we'd like to do is kind of highlight the writers that we have here on campus, uh, the students that we have. So you hear some from the winners of the most recent poetry contest here at ECC. Uh, we'll also have an alumnus. Uh, Rachel Coulter will be reading, um, and we'll have um, a sort of a, a regional poet who's kind of up and coming, Brandon Funk. He, he's driving in this morning from Kansas City. He just called me 10 minutes ago. He's in Marthasville. He said, uh, Google Maps or uh, MapQuest, he said, says I'm only 15 miles away. I'll be there in 15 <laughs> minutes. Um, as we all know the area, only if you could drive 70 miles per hour uh, down 47 would that happen. But he'll be here, he, he assures me. Uh, just a letter. Um, what is poetry? That's a, that's a joke. I'm joking. Uh, uh, <laughs> hopefully, maybe after today, you know what poetry is. Uh, this, of course, April is National Poetry Month. Um, you may say, why does it have a month? Well, think about anything that has its own month. The reason things have their own months is because they've been marginalized one way or another. You don't know what that is. It's not margarine, right? It's kind of been separated in, in its own little place. But I think poetry is alive and well, uh, especially here at ECC. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll hear from our third place winner uh, from our Spring Poetry Contest student, Sarah Armstrong. Come on up. I 